First of all, I'd like to say I'm delighted for Caroline. I think it's very well deserved and she does huge work in this area. She's a tremendous ambassador for Medtronic in the whole science and technology arena. I think it's very important to have role models uh, because this is about enticing our youth to careers in science and engineering. They need role models uh, to look up to. And uh, so I think uh, what, what, what Caroline is doing, for instance, on behalf of Medtronic and people like her and, uh, is very, very important. Yeah, I'm absolutely delighted with that. The, the work for both myself and the other Medtronic employees has been recognised. The project has grown from strength to strength. We have approximately 30 mentors from our engineering groups who have gone out, worked with the children, helped them with their projects. And with regard to the Science Technology Festival, each year we would have 40 to 50 volunteers who give up their time on a Sunday to man that stand, interact with the children and, and do some science experiments with them. So there's great support back at the organisation. Medtronic have been the main industrial sponsor of the Galway Science and Technology Festival over the last number of years and uh, that really recognises Medtronic's commitment to creating an increasing awareness around science and technology and the value of careers in science and technology uh, for our youth. It's a very, very important uh, issue and uh, it's important that we have engineers and scientists of the future. As well as the established companies who have been involved in the festival since its beginning, newer companies who now realise this importance of getting their message out to the public are working with us in the Education Centre and in the Galway Science and Technology Festival, helping the students and the public to see the interesting aspects of the research that they are undertaking. We're a biomedical engineering research centre and one of our emerging areas of research is in glycoscience which kind of examines the role that sugars play in nature. Um, because kids love sugar and eating sugar we thought it would be a, a fun theme to base our stand on today. So it's been a great day, it's been very busy but uh, I think the kids are responding well to the stand and it's a really good opportunity for our scientists to talk about what they do in simple language. It, it helps them to understand what it is that they're doing and uh, it's entertaining and, and informative for the kids as well. Oh, it's fantastic. I mean, you can look around at the crowd that are here today. You know, from my involvement in, in Galway, there are very few organized events that have such a broad following of young people and adults involved or not involved in the industry. I mean, my kids were dragging me out of church this morning to get here. This is one of the highlights of the, of the winter months for them. They want to be at this festival. We're an American multinational based in Galway since 1972. We manufacture biomedical testing kits. Well, we wanted to raise our profile as a company. Um, we're involved in a molecular diagnostics research project with uh, the University of Galway here. Um, as well as that, obviously, my, my job, I work in recruitment and our hope is that we get kids interested in science from an early age and then hopefully someday they'll come work for us. The LEGO League starts in September for schools. The children are provided with a kit of LEGO um, and in that kit is a robot with a basic computing interface which you can connect to a, to a laptop and you can program that robot to do various things. The highlight of the whole competition is how that robot performs against other teams. So each team has two and a half minutes to perform uh, a set number of tasks. The robot is judged in terms of how, how well the technology is used. The team is judged on how they have worked together. So it's not a case that you can have a team of 10 people where one person is actually does all the work. That is part of the judgment process to make sure everybody is involved. Feedback from the schools has been excellent. Um, teachers have said that it's giving a, a certain number of pupils an opportunity which might not necessarily come their way. Choices of careers are often made when you're in first, second and third year and people begin to get develop an interest and choose subjects to move them along that. Uh, we would see the festival as being critical in helping that choice, in giving children an understanding of what is out there. If we could have one person out of every year who actually goes on and becomes a technologist who is well respected, who is driving the rest of us and pulling the rest of us along, that's success. 
in the current economic climate where there's a lot of focus on how we're spending our money. It could be an area that uh, would be cut back. I think that would be absolutely the wrong thing to do. We need to continue to invest in science and technology because science and technology is our future. So really we're investing in our future. We have, we believe, a great groundswell of public support for science, technology and engineering in Galway. And as a region, we have established Galway as a leading light in that area. And therefore, we think the future is bright for the region because science, technology and innovation are going to be the areas that the country will lead in the future.